Looks like we finally might get some good Marvel movies this year. Hopefully. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to TCK Films. Today we will be discussing my most anticipated movies for 2023. Obviously we're already in February so there'll be no January movies. And there's only 9 movies on this list because I couldn't think of 10 I was excited for. So top 9! most anticipated movies of 2023. Also, before we get into the video, let me know in the comment section down below what movies this year you guys are looking forward to the most. Put your ranking, your list in the comment section down below. So coming in number nine, we have Fast X, the final movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. I do not take these movies seriously at all, and it's one of the best decisions that I ever made. If you don't take these movies seriously, you'll have the best time watching them. They have the most crazy outlandish shit you'll ever see in a movie. And if you don't take it seriously, you don't see it as a real, you know, story movie, you'll have the best time with it, trust me. Past few movies have been a blast for me because I have not been taking it seriously. I mean, the action is so absurd, it's so fun to watch, especially in a movie theater. Even if I do end up leaving with a headache, it is so worth it. So I'm just expecting another fun and the final Fast and Furious movie. We've got some new additions to it. We got Jason Momoa in the cast, who's cool. I think he'd really fit that well. And Brie Larson. Alright, what's the next movie on the list? Now coming in number 8, we have Killers on the Flower Moon, the new Martin Scorsese movie. So, it's already a Martin Scorsese movie, so I already have to go see it right away, because I'm a big Martin Scorsese fan. He has some of my favorite movies of all time. Also, it's got a stacked cast, including Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Jesse Plemons, and Brendan Fraser, who are some of my favorite actors ever. So, I don't really know too much about this movie, but all I know is that a great director, great cast, and the last time Martin Scorsese directed a movie with con artists and criminals, it turned out to be a pretty good movie, so I'm pretty excited for this one. Coming in number 7, we have the Super Mario Bros. movie, and I cannot wait for this movie. Growing up, I was a huge Mario fan, played all the games, collected all like the toys and stuff, and I always wanted a Mario movie, and we're finally getting one. Like, look at this picture of me when I was young. I've always been in love with Mario. Now, the first trailer really got me hooked. Like, I was kind of worried about this movie going into it. Like, they can't mess up Mario. Please don't mess up Mario. But the first trailer was absolutely sick. And the animation looked absolutely beautiful. Also, it's got a stacked voicing cast with, you know, Jack Black, Seth Rogen. And I'm still giving Chris Pratt a chance. I know he's getting some hate, but... I'm still gonna give him a chance. And it looks like they're adding a ton of Mario Easter eggs from all the different games, you know, like Mario Kart, Mario Party, the original Mario game. So I'm super excited to see all that and to just see this movie in general. And coming in sixth place, we have the only DC movie on this list, Blue Beetle. Now us hardcore Cobra Kai fans are absolutely pumped for this movie for one man, Sholo Menadueña, aka Miguel Diaz. I mean, even if this movie sucks, Sholo's gonna do a great job and carry this movie on his back, and I will praise him for it. Also, I've always been a fan of this Blue Beetle character. I watched Batman the Brave and the Bold growing up, and Blue Beetle was on that show a lot, and I really liked him on that show, and since then, I've always wanted to see him live action. So we're finally seeing it. Just hope DC doesn't screw the pooch here, and we actually see a good Blue Beetle movie. And also the suit from what we see from behind the scenes leaked pictures, the suit looks really, really cool. All that's left is that DC doesn't screw it up. Now coming in fifth place, we have Oppenheimer, the new Christopher Nolan movie. Now, I'm a huge Christopher Nolan fan, love all of his movies, so I'm pumped going into this movie. Also, another movie with a stacked cast. And from that first trailer alone, it looks beautiful. I mean, the cinematography, of course, it's Christopher Nolan, so it, it's automatically amazing. But this movie alone, the cinematography looks amazing incredible and i would just see the movie just for the cinematography also i'm really interested to see christopher nolan do a biopic he's never really done anything like that before also i don't know too much about this story so i'm really excited to see it now coming in fourth place we have ant-man and the wasp quantum mania now this honestly looks like the best marvel movie since no way home which is so refreshing to see because last year marvel movies were not good not for me i mean kang looks badass in this movie and he's a obviously about to change the game. Jonathan Majors just always kills it. And the visual effects look great. I mean, the Quantum Realm looks really, really cool in this movie. And it looks like it might be one of the most intense Marvel movies. I mean, that fight alone with Kang and Ant-Man in the trailer. I can't wait for that fight. And also, I'm a huge Ant-Man fan. Even if his other movies have, were pretty small scaled, I'm still really excited for this one because I love Ant-Man character. I love Paul Rudd. I like the Wasp. I like all the supporting characters. So yeah, I'm excited for this Marvel movie. Now coming in third place, we have another Marvel movie, but it's not the MCU. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. Now the first movie, absolutely incredible. 
damn near perfect movie and i expect the same going into this one that first trailer alone looked great it looks a lot darker than the first movie which is really interesting to see animation of course again looks stunning and yeah there's not really too much to say about this movie because i already know it's gonna be great coming in second place we have creed 3 i love me some creed and rocky some of my favorite movies even if Sylvester Stallone is not returning as Rocky in this movie, I'm still excited to see Adonis Creed. He's grown on me as a character alone. I don't think he needs Rocky by his side all the time anymore. So I'm excited to see him coming to his own in this movie without Rocky's wisdom. Jonathan Majors again in this movie looks freaking scary. I mean, he got jacked for this movie and that fight's gonna be one hell of a fight and maybe one of the best in the Rocky franchise. You know, I love the first two Creed movies, but this one for sure looks the most intense for me, which is saying something when you had Drago in the previous movie. Also, it's Michael B. Jordan's directing debut, which I'm really interested to see how he does. I bet he'll do a good job. He always kills it. And coming in first place, we have the movie we all saw coming, Cocaine Bear. I mean, it just looks great. I'm just kidding. It's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yeah, the Guardians are some of my favorite characters in the MCU, and we're finally seeing them put down the guns, put down the weapons, and are retiring after this movie. I've loved both the Guardians movies. I love them in the Avengers movies. They're just my favorite characters. They probably have some of the best chemistry in the MCU. Great music taste. I'm expecting all of that going into this movie. It's obviously for sure going to be the most intense Guardians movie. I mean, it looks like some of our favorite Guardians are going to die it's james gunn final marvel movie for now and he's gonna kill it james gunn's always kills it and it just looks so emotional and i don't think we are ready for this movie but it is my most anticipated movie going into this year i do not think james gunn will fail us in james gunn i trust so that is my list again let me know your guys thoughts on my list let me know your guys list in the comment section down below love to see your list yeah so it looks like it's a pretty good year for movies so far i'm excited to see you know more announcement more movies coming out this year finally it looks like some good marvel movies so if you guys haven't already make sure to like the video comment subscribe turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video and i'll see you guys later peace